Hello and welcome to my workshop. In this video, I'm oiling wood. In this video, I'll be applying the stain and the finishing oil to the blanket box. And the client has decided to go for the Prato Verdes medium oak stain color. And I'll be applying Prato Verdes secondo for additional water and abrasion resistance. Both of those finishes are oil-based and unlike verithanes and urethanes, they do not leave a film or skin on the surface of the wood. I prefer using those types of finishes and here is my reason number one. The minimal equipment that you need to apply the stain and the finish is, well, this piece of rag, literally this big. Now you might need a little bigger piece later on to wipe any excess off, but for the actual application you don't need much more than this. The other reason why I prefer them is that they're more resistant to the woodshop environment. And here are two examples to explain what I mean. When you apply a skin finish, you need to ensure that your surface is nice and level. Otherwise, if you apply a little bit too much of that skin finish, gravity will take over and will begin to draw it to the lowest point. Now, I'm sure you've had cases where you applied skin finish on a vertical surface and if you applied a little bit too much, you would have seen it begin to sag and form streaks on that side panel and that doesn't look good at all. In contrast, these finishes can be applied in any angle and the amount of time the wood surface is wet is roughly 15 minutes, so you don't have that problem with gravity. The second example is the dust. Well, the woodshop environment has a lot of it. And if you have dust falling on your skin finish as it's curing, well, you're stuck with that dust forever. The only way to fix it is to sand and begin again. In contrast, as I mentioned earlier, the amount of time the wood is wet with the old finishes is roughly, you know, 15 minutes. And once uh, you wipe off any excess, any dust particles that falls on it, you can just simply brush off or wipe away. You don't have to worry about sanding and beginning again. You have seen me using a lot of Prato Verdes products in my videos, and you might be wondering where I can get those. And the answer is from me, along with a whole bunch of other retailers, depending on where in Canada you are. These oils are manufactured by a company in Quebec called Produit TMB or TMB Products in English. And when you go to their website under the Retailers tab, you will see me listed as one of their Ontario retailers. Now, in the grand scheme of things, I might be their smallest retailer, but as we know, size doesn't matter and I can pretty much order anything off their website. Now, the order will take roughly about three to four days to arrive, depending on where in Canada you are, but I can order anything off of their website. I also carry their selection of uh, sample-sized oils and finishes and stains. That way you can use them to figure out what best fits your application. Uh, that's how we discovered the right color for the piano bench and the current project, which happened to be the same color, but that was the way to do it. You use a sample on a sacrificial piece and then the client chooses what fits best. Now, I plan to put the finishing oils on my website, but that is a work in progress. I mean, I'm a one-man operation and my priorities change on a daily basis. But eventually, I plan to put the uh, finishing oils on my website along with the various sizes and the pricings for each so that you can order off my website. In the meantime, if you want to get in touch with me, the best way is to send me an email or a text message with a link to the product or products that you're looking at. If you give me a call, I will return your call at a later stage because when I'm filming, my phone is on silent. And when I'm using my machinery, I have my hearing protection, so I definitely can't hear a phone. So if you leave me a voicemail, I'll return it later on. But the best way to get in touch with me is either an email or a text message. Now that you know the benefits of these particular oils, as well as where to get them, let's apply them to the project. I will be applying the, um, the stain on the lid in normal speed and everything else will be sped up. So. Let's get oily. Now I'm going to put my foot where my mouth is and I mentioned that all you need to apply the finish is this big piece of a rag. I'm actually going to make it a little bit smaller because there is a drop of glue here that dried up. So I'm going to remove it 
and then use that same piece of rag to apply the finish. The other thing that I mentioned is that the finish is not affected by debris falling on it. So here is some debris. And I'm going to be using my dust collector to suck them up, just because it's a little bit easier. Let's just finish the wiping and there see it's easy all that debris is gone and not affecting the finish whatsoever And there you have it, another successful project done. The clients were very happy and before we end with pictures of its final location, make sure to like, share and subscribe and also hit the notification bell to get notified of my future video releases. Also follow me on all social media channels and consider supporting me on Patreon. All the links are down in the description.